Hello everybody, my name is Espace. Today I'm actually doing a so-called storyline mission agent. This is one of those kind of special agents which you get after doing 16 standard missions. So the good thing about these guys is that when you get these missions, you actually get a very good boost to your faction standing. So the faction you're doing these for will like you a lot. They're like, oh, that's a, that's a really good guy. That's a reliable guy. And the mission that is as a, that I'm doing right now is actually a really basic mission. It's I actually never would have I've never done this mission before, but it's a very just so basic mission. And it's basically I have to just get eight thousand of these kernite rocks for uh, this person over here, Eretha Elier, and this person needs some rocks because of their war preparation. They need a bit of supplies, and that's what I'm going to do. So what I'm actually doing now is I'm in the Badger. Yes, the Badger, right? The Badgy. Yeah, I call my ship the Badgy, but is it actually called a Badger? And this ship is the more tankier transport ship of the Caldari. So you've got the, the very big one that has a big cargo hold. I can't remember what that was called now. But then you've got the smaller one, which is the Badger that I'm using. And it's a bit tankier, but it's not got as much cargo space as the large one. Let's see, now what is the large one called? The thing is, why I'm actually going to this location here is because I need to get a cargo hold because expander because it's not got that much uh, cargo hold to carry all this uh, this kernel I need to get. So if we go into the industrial skill here, in Caldari industrial, and you're required for Tyra. Yeah, the Tyra is the big one, but it's not as tanky. So then you got the one I've got, the Badger that is uh, very tanky and the reason I'm using the badges because I keep this in my missioning system and what I do is I use this to transport modules that I get that I find of like uh, dead ships that I just p pick up and the thing is like those modules they usually take quite a bit of space so I need to have a dedicated ship that can transport them for example like MWDs uh, blaster cannons, cruise missiles, these things I pick up from the enemies that are destroyed in the missions, uh, I can actually sell them for a pretty price. So I need a, a good method of transportation. And the reason I'm not using the Tyra then to transport them is because even though they're not crazy expensive, the items I get from missions, like they're not hundreds of millions worth of stuff. The thing is, they're still worth something. They could be like a full cargo hold of this ship will probably be worth about like 30, 40 million. And I would prefer not to just get ganked if someone wants to steal my stuff. You know, people can come and suicide gank me. They could just come and just blast my ship and steal my stuff like real people. And uh, <laughs> I would prefer that not to happen. So that's why I'm using the Badger because the Badger is very tanky. It's got a very, very strong shield. You can go here in the fitting tab it's got 26,000 EHP so it's got all these shield modules here it's a very it's a very strong and uh, I'm actually just uh, now actually I'm not you I don't usually use the badger for missions it's just that I happen to get that special mission where I have to transport Kernite but I'm actually going to put an extra cargo uh, hold expander here just to get a bit of extra space because I don't have uh, enough space to carry that Kernite so now I've added this, now I have enough space because I needed about a little bit over 9,000. I didn't have enough to do this mission. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Asanot. Asanot is a system nearby my missioning hub that sells Kernite. And I'm going to buy this from here. And then I'm going to actually hand it in to the uh, the mission agent. I'm actually doing a these missions for the corporation called The Scope. The Scope is, if we go in here, you can just click on this person here. You can see they are part of the scope. The scope is actually a, uh, funny enough, how we're doing this kind of mission for a news agency, because that's what the scope is. The scope is a news agency for, uh, yeah, like an EVE Online, and it's a part of the Galanta Federation. So they've got this news agency, and they actually post, uh, like the EVE Online CCP games who've made EVE Online, they actually post uh, reports by the scope. I can actually show you an example of one right now. Uh, look here, this is the scope. Like this was the one which was released when the Raravos was conquered by Triglavians, you see it? Do, do, do. Like the, the scope, it's the news network of EVE Online. Has fallen. So it's a, it's a, it's funny how I'm doing these missions for a corporation that is basically the news agency. I don't know why they would need this, but it seems like in EVE Online that this, the scope is also not only a news agency, but it also has some kind of like, uh, you know, military power. So that's why I'm doing this for them. Uh, to get a bit of war preparation, to give them their kernite that they need. 
Let's go in here to Asenot. I'm going to go and buy that Kernite. The thing is, I could actually... Oh, wait, it's an invaded system. Uh-oh. I hope I don't get sniped now. Oh, thankfully it's an Edencom <laughs> invaded system. You know how there's like invasion stuff going on where there's like Triglavians, those damn Triglavians, they're invading the space of New Eden. We've got some systems that have been conquered by the Edencom, which are the defensive uh, people who appear defending New Eden. And then there's also the Triglavians. And if it was a Triglavian conquer system, then I would be in big trouble. They could just snipe me and kill me straight away without when I got into the game. But luckily it's a it's an Edencom fortress, so <laughs> I should have noticed that because the I didn't pay attention. It says danger. This is a star system is invaded by Triglavian forces. Because if it's an Edencom fortress, that means that it's been like it's it's a victory system. Like it's a, Edencom have prevailed, so there's very little Triglavian presence here. Triangle boys, as they call them. Let's go here. And actually, I can't accept this here, but I will buy the Kernite. The thing is, the Kernite, I could in actuality mine it, but it will just take me a long time to mine. I'm not particularly a good miner. So that's why I am going to just buy it because I'm a bit lazy. It's going to take me a lot longer just to uh, just to mine this. So I'm just going to buy this as my own ISK, my own ISK or ISK. Well, I've heard some people, especially new players, they say a lot of uh, I uh, ISK, but um, I feel like it's a, it's a, uh, I think I also said that in the beginning, you know, they say ISK, they said ISK before, but then I was just like, ah, I'm going to, I'm going to just call it ISK, it's, it's a lot, it's a lot easier to say that. So I've got this uh, L4 missioning system here in Heora. This is a system which I actually uh, run L formations in my Paladin that Chris Tao gave me, so I've got the Paladin here. And this is because in Apanake, the system called Apanake uh, is good because it's a good system to run L formations in. You've got Sisters of Eve, eight mission agents that they give good rewards, good LP to ISK ratios. But the problem is. There are a lot of gankers there, so I'd prefer to not run them there. So instead, I'm doing it in a bit more quieter mission hub for a different company or a different corp. The scope is a good one, and uh, like there's a decent, um, they, de they give decent rewards. So that's why I'm doing it here. It's a little bit less populated, a little bit less people going around sniping people. The thing is, my paladin is not particularly worth the gank, but I notice there's a lot of these gank squads who just go around just to kill people just for fun. Not really for economical purposes, just, you know, just just to mess with people. And uh, it's something I would prefer not to be on the hit list. And I know that actually making this video is basically putting me on the hit list, but uh, that's kind of a sacrifice. I'm willing to make at least for now. The It's been pretty chill right there so far. Not many ganks have been happening there. And honestly, I'm not surprised because there's not a whole lot of people who do missions there. The uh, it, It's always a lot better to do missions for the Sisters of Eve if you're out there purely for the most amount of ISK per hour. Uh, the scope doesn't give as good rewards, but there's still the scope gives decent uh, LP to ISK ratios. But... It's not as good as Sisters of Eve, but the thing is, I prefer that little bit extra safety than just a little bit extra ISK. Or that uh, re pretty big increase in safety over that, uh, just a little bit more efficiency in ISK. I, I feel like that would be a lot better. And also, I know that this system is actually not close to any low sec. I've not run a whole lot of missions here, but uh, I know that in Apanake you can sometimes get missions that go to a... Uh, low sec system and that's not what I'm interested in because in low sec anyone can just kill you anyone can just kill you and shoot you. any player can just kill you and I do not want that to happen <laughs> that will be very dumb for me because I will just be not even worth my time running the missions why am I gonna run missions if there's just tight risk of me or high risk of me getting killed especially when I'm in a big slow ship like the Paladin very big chance that someone will just come and uh, it wrecked me really hard. So you can see here, this mission actually gives me one of these uh, neural implants standard. And I think that's a pretty decent implant. It, it goes for, I think, 20 mil or something like that? 25 mil? Okay, so I don't know about the buy price. Maybe it'll be better in Gita. I think it's a bit better in Gita. Let's check here, actually. 
Okay, yeah, it's 20 mil in the forge, so that's pretty good prices right there. So I got 20 mil from this, and I had to use a bit of my uh, money to buy this kernite, but otherwise we're going to get quite a bit of... Uh, uh, we're going to get quite a bit of isk from the Implar, and most of all, the most the reason I run these missions is not for money, it's to, that they're for the standing. I get a big standing boost. These guys, they love me. They love me if I do this these storyline missions, these ones. Uh, this, like, you see here, this important mission. It's uh, That's the main reason I give it. I do it. Because if we go into character interactions, uh, I think it's interaction standings, yeah. If we go here. If we go onto Galente Federation, we'll get a, a big standing increase if uh, I, I do this mission. Now I'm wondering why have I been actually taking these standing hits? I must have been killing some Galente people recently. <laughs> I can't remember what was I doing the 25th of September. Hmm. hmm. It must have been some people I was killing. <laughs> <laughs> that must have reduced it because it looks like it's, this is like when you kill enemy ships then they do like this they reduce the standing like this by, very, by like a very little amount but it's a lot of them so it must have mean that I was killing a bunch of people but I don't understand why I would be killing Galente ships because I don't usually do that a bit strange right there okay now we're going to warp to the uh, mission hub the reason I call it Amar L4 mission hub is just because I use my paladin there so it's like an Amar area we're also in a region of space owned by the Amar Empire so that's the main reason as far as I understand there's a more higher likelihood that missions will give the local pirates in based on the place you are so in Amar region you usually get the Sancha and Blood Raider pirates and because of that the, I would prefer to get missions that have those pirates there because they have low EM and double resistances holes and that's exactly the, the type of damage that the paladin does so I'll be killing stuff for very quickly because the paladin does EM and thermal damage now I'll just nuke or uh, uh, obliterate the Sancha and Blood Raider pirates very quickly okay so we've got the Kernite here we're gonna take this into the item hanger and put it here look at all this this is all the loot I've been collecting from <laughs> Uh, from missioning so far okay let's accept this and a complete mission boop easy mission right there and we've also got the implant you see that increased by 20 mil right there that was a decent little mission and also we must have got a little bit of a or quite a bit of standing increase okay yeah that was decent 0 0.2 standing that's actually pretty good uh, you can see here we're at 7.68 and it takes a very long time to get this much standing so that 0 0.2 was actually a pretty big jump even though it may seem like oh what only 0 0.2 but it actually is actually a pretty decent jump right there you can see there's a wait just goes there oh, so big completely negated all these kill ship kills we've done right here all right, that's me doing a storyline agent supplying for the war for the scope. Hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Got a little bit of uh, information about the scope right there. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later.